a good spot for it, right? <sighs> Just compliments the whole collage. Yeah. <sighs> I'm like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> What is happening, movie lovers, film buffs, and everybody else? I am David, the Film Junkie, and I'm gonna bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm gonna find it for you. That's just the kind of guy I am, so let's get started. Well, I'm still on cloud nine from the news that was um, thrown out to us from Comic-Con on Saturday. Yes, The Man of Steel 2 will feature Batman, and it will be a Batman vs. Superman scenario. <sighs> and David Icke was quoted in an interview that he says that it is in pre-production right now, of course, it's going to be coming out in 2015, and he says that they really haven't come up with a, you know, potential title for it yet, even though people are going, well, it's going to be Batman vs. Superman, it's going to be, well, what's it like, man. Now, he did title drop Batman vs. Superman or Superman vs. Batman, but they really have not come up with the title for this yet. But Warner Brothers has purchased the domain names. Batman vs. Superman.com, Superman vs. Batman.com, and Batman vs. Superman Movie.com, so. Ha. Now, to me, I think the title should be Man of Steel 2 with the little subtitle of World's Finest. Yeah? Because let's face it, I know it's going to be a Batman vs. Superman scenario, but they're not going to be fighting the whole time. They're going to resolve most of their issues. You know that's going to happen. And then they're going to have to fight some bigger villain and. That's where the world's finest. It's just, it, it, it works. So world's finest, Mr. Goyer and Mr. Snyder. And a, uh, do me a favor, when you cast for Batman, don't cast American. Seems that all the spot on superhero casting has not been American. <laughs> America. And then we move on the other side of the comic book universe and we talk Avengers and Joss Whedon Drop the title of the Avengers at Comic-Con, and it's going to be called Avengers 2 Age of Ultron. Yes, I guess Ultron is one of the Avengers' greatest villains to my best knowledge. Joss Whedon also uh, cleared up some rumors that everybody was speculating that, oh, it's going to be based off this certain graphic novel that was called Age of Ultron, but he said, no, we're going to say little tidbits from there, but it's going to be its own origin story kind of movie in a Joss Whedon kind of way. I mean, let's face it, Jossie Boy has a lot riding on his shoulders. I would love and hate to be him right now. More love than hate. Who am I kidding? I flat out love being him. Who am I fucking kidding? Then we move over to the Guardians of the Galaxy, and this little piece of concept art was shown off at Comic Con. Now, this looks awesome, and I don't really know anything about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but this actually looks pretty damn cool. And I guess they also showed some early footage of some of the characters during the panel, and a lot of people got really excited. Now, Guardians of the Galaxy goes in production this year for an August 1st, 2014 release, and it's quite the ensemble cast. They have a raccoon. Reboots and remakes. Hey, look at this. It's Raphael in a disguise standing next to Megan Cunts. I mean, Fox. Who is losing excitement for this movie? With all these other big movies coming out, this is just getting pushed to the bottom of the list. <laughs> Michael Bay, jackass. Casting news! And in sad casting news today, it seems that Sasha Baron Cohen has dropped out of the Freddie Mercury biopic. Yes, this is dumb because he's been attached to the project for so long and he's perfect for the role. Seems what happened is, is I guess the remaining band members didn't like where he was going to take the character, so they said no, and he dropped out, and good luck trying to find a replacement, you dinguses. They might as well just not do the movie now, but hey, that's just my opinion. I think Sasha Baron Cohen was perfect to play Freddie Mercury. If you guys know somebody else that would be perfect to play Freddie Mercury, leave me a comment down below in the balls area. Let me know who would be perfect, because I really can't think of anyone else. Well, all right, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like today's show, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Well, I'm David, the film junkie, and I still have a humongous nerd boner for that picture up there. <laughs> Turn off the camera, it's time to get naughty. Just kidding. Well, maybe.